Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. And in my previous video, you have seen that how to install the GNS3 client, uh, the web client, right? Now in this video, we will see how to add the GNS3, I mean, uh, VM and, um, and integrate it with the GNS3. Right? Now you can see the server here, which is your local computer, but I don't want this server. I want a beefy server to be added. So I will add my GNS3 VM on my ESXi server. So I have my ESXi server running on 192.168.1.254. And I'll say advanced, proceed, All right? I will hit the root and my password if I remember correctly. Yep. So I want uh, my GNS3 VM here with a beefy, um, I mean, resource on it. Then I will point my uh, web client to the uh, GNS3 VM on the ESXi. So for that, you need the, need the VM and I've shown in my previous video how to download the VM. If not, you can just Google and and you can just Google here, something like that, GNS3 software download uh, hyphen v VM, and you can download the uh, VM for the particular software that you're using. Even if you're using VirtualBox, you can download this. If you're using VMware Workstation or Fusion for Mac, you can download this. And if you're using ESXi like me, you can download this one. And then finally, if you're using uh, Microsoft Hyper-V virtualization, you can use this one. Okay, so for me, I have the, mm, in the downloads, I think, yeah. So I can go here. And in the downloads, I already have this. So I will just take it somewhere in my D. Okay, I have this here. So this is the VM that I may need. I'll cut it and I can go to somewhere to here and I can paste it here. And now I need to extract this first. Okay, so uh, to extract this, you need to just right click on the zip file and, and hit on extract. So once this gets copied to my E drive, I will just extract it to my E drive. And then inside it, I will have the OVA file that I'm interested in. Let's see. Cool, so I would I have the software here and I can just hit on extract here and this will start extracting the GNS3 OVA file. This is what I'm interested in. Yeah, so once this is extracted, I will just fast forward my video. Okay, so now I have this here. So I need to go to my um, ESXi server and um, on top you can see create or register virtual machine and I can just hit create. And I want to de deploy a virtual machine from an OVF or an OVF file. I can click here next and I can say the name here GNS3 like this VM. And now I can click here and then select the file or I can just go fancy and just drag and drop the file here. That will also work. So hit next. Then I have to select the data store. I'll select the data stores to next. I want this to be part of my VM network. I mean, this is like the bridge. Hit next, thin provisioning, and next, and finish now. Okay, and that, and in the I mean, task section, you can see it's getting imported, and you can see the percentage of the process that has completed. So let's wait for this to be completed successfully. Yeah, once that is completed successfully, you have to run the machine. And then you have to point the web client towards this VM as, as a server. Right? So now, as you can see, my VM has been successfully deployed and now it's turned powering up. So if you click here and if I click on the VM, you can see that this is getting powered on. Now it will take an IP address from the um, DHCP, which is what I don't want actually i will make this static so that i can point from the web gui and then later on if i restart the vm right the ip stays the same and i don't have to go again and again change the uh, settings in the gns3 client so i can click ok here on this i basically click ok yeah now it gives me a menu where you can see the information about the about the vm and i actually am interested in the network part here so it will say the server will reboot at the end of the process i say continue yes and then now you have the IP address. So I will uncomment this E0 DHCP. I will say no address like this gateway name servers. And now for the IP address, I will give it 192, 168, 1 say 88, some unique IP address from your range. And the gateway is going to be your 
router 192, 168, or 101 in most cases. And uh, DHCP, I mean, the DNS are these two. That's said and done. We can then just escape colon, control C, control Q. Right, so I mean, I have to save this now. Okay, I'm coming to find the following lines if you want to manually configure network, right? I've done the same. Now I actually want this to be minimized and this is full screen if I do, okay. I want to see, see the, I mean, bottom menus. So for this, you have to press control O, which will write it out mm -mm, here, control O. Yes, and hit enter. So that's it, that is done. Now to exit, it's control X. Yeah, so I will exit the whole screen from here. To be escape here. So now the VM is restarting again. So now mm, the web client has to be pointed towards the server. So if you are running this on the um, uh, VMware workstation, also you have to go to the same section. You have to go to preference. And now in the GNS3 VM section, you go here and then enable GNS3 VM. Now it's super easy if you have the uh, VM installed on your machine. Uh, in VMware Workstation, VirtualBox, yeah. So you can just click here and it will actually uh, fetch the VMs which are under inside your uh, workstation or, or if you have a VirtualBox, it will fetch it. Okay, so I don't have anything in the VirtualBox, but I want a remote one. So I'll click here and then the name of the, I mean, the, what do you say, the server, right? Remote server, use a remote GNS3 server as the GNS3 VM, correct? Allocate vCPUs and this one, right? So this is where you have to choose the uh, ESXi server, but we have to add actually the ESXi server because I, I don't see any option to add my ESXi server, which is on, uh, on 192.161.88. So you go here and then you have a remote server tab and then you add name, say GNS3 VM. Let's go to the, uh, this one, yeah. What does it say? It says about the easy to not please configure by selecting this. Okay, it seems like there is an issue. So let's go again to the network portion here. Yes, and I think I have to uncomment all this. Let's uncomment all this. Okay, and then control X, I think, or control O. Control O, enter. Control O, enter. You have to maximize this. Save modified buffer. I would say yes. yes. Just want the file to be saved. Control C is canceled, it says. Now I have to press Control O to write this and then hit enter to save this. Now it says the wrote 16 lines. Now Control X for exit. Done, now it should reload again. Escape to come back to the normal screen. Now I need the details of this server in order to point the uh, GNS3 web client to the server, right? So let's wait for the server to reboot on 88 and the port that we need to specify on the GNS3 uh, web client. Here it is, I know HTTP, but then um, default would be 3080 port. So let's just go on and proactively give this one. This is what I want yeah? and hit okay. Now when you go to GNS3, you will find your VM here. If you refresh it again, should come up here. Is my server? Yeah, it is there. GNS3 HTTP. If I apply, okay, I didn't apply. I say this one. It has not come. Yeah, now it has come. Apply. Okay. Now let's for, wait for the VM. Yes, the VM. Cool. So I can see it's on 191.61.88 port 80, not 3080. Okay, hit enter. Let's go back. And I think I have to edit my server here. If you go here on the server part, remote server, edit. And instead of TCP 3080, it's only 80. Okay, apply, okay. This should work now. 
yeah cool i can just reboot once more just to just for the settings to take effect i can also close this once it's a little less complicated if you have the um vm locally on your machine on workstation or or on the virtual box but it takes quite a time to uh, get it working with the remote servers so i can again open up the genesis 3 app this time it should uh, i mean in the server section you should see the remote server as green as well let's see Okay, now we can see if I just go and test, create a new one test. I think um, it's there. okay, fine. But now you can see I have two servers here. Now my GNS3 VM is also there. So I can go and add a new template here. So if we click here, I can import uh, just quickly, just to try this, I have a small tool, which is the web term, this one. I can just install this pretty quickly. So now you have the option, right? So I can install the appliance on the GNS3 VM. Like that. Next, finish. Cool. Now, if I go to the devices, I should have the web term. I can just drag and drop the web term here. Now, the web term is actually working on my GNS3 VM and it's not on my desktop, I mean, local server, right? You, uh, within some time, you can see the files will be downloaded because it's the first time. So, it will be downloaded from the cloud and it will be added to my project. And then I can start and uh, I'm start using my appliance right so yeah that is how you integrate download install the gns3 vm with your gns3 web client or you can say gns3 application it's not basically the web client because web client would be something like like you're going to the browser and just going to 192.168.1.88 which is your um, gns3 vm right so this is how you do it you can just i mean add a blank project here Save test and this is also a cool way of using the gns3 like like something like the eve ng yeah you can just add the, this is also very cool pretty neat mm, you should have all the devices here so if, for example i have the web term right now should be there filtered by i don't see the web term here so if i go here the web term is that i can now start it this is basically uh Web, web page i mean web browser basically yeah so you can just open this if you close it like this close tab then right click here somewhere yeah you have the terminal you can have the applications right you can have the shell you can have a terminal emulator also pretty cool right i mean this is very light so if you have to uh, i mean um you have to first of all have a ip address here and if you want to say access a gui from here you can do that pretty neat so that's how you do it right that's um, it for this video and uh, hope you like the content on my channel and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like my videos please do hit, hit the subscribe button and uh, and also uh, do not forget to press the bell icon so that you get the latest notifications of the videos that i upload on my youtube channel so 